All right, we're going to do warm up two for six problems. String times through string explosion. <clears throat> I'll make the font bigger. Given a string and a non negative integer, return a larger string that is n copies of the original string. So let's do a little for loop. Or i equals 0, i less than n, i plus plus. Um, forgot, since we're returning a string, we have to make a string to store things in. So I'm going to say string t equals empty quotes. And then in here, I'm going to say t plus equals str. That adds str to this empty string over and over and over again as many times as we need and then in the end we're going to say return t here we go number one they want us to return n copies of the front so i'm going to do um, String f front equals empty quotes. And then I'm going to say if str.length is less than 3, then front is equal to str, str. Else front is equal to str.substring 0, comma 3. So what I've done here is I'm making sure not to crash if front is shorter than three. If shorter than three, I'm just setting it equal to the whole the whole thing. Otherwise, I'm setting it equal to characters zero, one, and two, the first three characters. And now uh, I'm going to say string t for temp equals empty quotes. And I'm going to say 4 in i equals 0, i less than n, i plus plus. Really classic for loop thing. And I'm going to say t plus equals print. And that way uh, I'm grabbing that many copies of it. And then I'm going to return t. Here we go. Okie dokie. And go next. Count the number of double x's in a given string and overlapping is allowed. So we need to make a count variable. And let's start at the beginning. Int i equals zero, i less than str.length. I'm going to say minus one because we're going to do, uh, we have to do a substring with a plus one in it. Plus two actually. And if str dot substring i comma i plus two dot equals xx, sorry, put it in quotes, and count plus plus and return to count. That'd be interesting. I wonder what um it occurs to me I should look at all the answers they give and see how different they are than mine. Okay, they're just specifying the number that they're going to use for grabbing the front. Whereas I just did it a different way, that's fine. And here we did it exactly the same. So. All right, now we're on to double X. We're on the uh, home stretch here. Got the last three. So, given a string, return true if the first instance of X is immediately followed by another X. So, um, int loc equals str.index of x. So that's the first x, the location of the first x. So if str.substring loc plus 1, that's the next character, comma loc plus 2, 
dot equals x return true, otherwise return false. We only care about the first instance, and so that's um, okay. And here they're uh, asking us to make sure see out of bounds. They're uh, we're going to do a short circuit evaluation. So if loc uh, not equal to negative one, that takes care of this one. There's no x in that one, and loc plus two is less less than or equal to str dot length. And so I'm, I'm making sure that there is one. And then I'm making sure that this loc plus two is not too far ahead of the end of the string. Um, there we go. And their hint, uh, use index of, and their hint, oh, just checks if it's too far ahead. Otherwise, it returns it. Yeah, we're good. String bits. We want every other character starting with the first. So I'm going to make a string t equals empty quotes. And we're starting with the first. So int, sorry, for int i. We're going to do a for loop. i less than str.length. i plus plus. Sorry, plus equals two. And then we're going to just get every other character. T plus equals str dot substring i comma i plus one. And I didn't put it in um, early quotes because it's just one line. But they do. Yeah, that's fine. It's good. String explosion. Given a non empty string like code, return a string like this, where we use the first letter, then the first two, and then the first three, and then the first four. So string t equals empty quotes. And now we're going to do uh, an outer loop. Well, we just need one loop. For int i uh, equals, I'm going to start with one, i less than star dot length i plus plus e plus equals str dot substring we're going to go from zero to character i over and over again i forgot to return it i got all excited Okay. Oh, I didn't go didn't go far enough. See, so I did co code cod, but I didn't do one more. So uh, we're gonna have to say less than or equal to. That should do it. Yep. And they have a solution for this too. They did i plus one here instead of a. Less than or equal to, but that's legit. Okay.